you know, Lewis, we had that situation earlier this year in Atlanta with Chad's car, and, and you just hope everything's good. These cars have the ultimate in safety equipment in them. This is the ultimate. So right now, the crew going to the top end of the racetrack. This car, this driver, they know how to win. Three point nine zero one. That's the best time slip. The first round of the Traxxas Nitro Shootout for Funny Cars. No parachute though for Ron Caps. Is this car going into the sit and can? Yes, it is, and all the way to the net. And over on its top, he is the one-man band over here on the Mopar. Wow, Mike Bowman's going to try to punch his way back in again. Jackson goes 573, 3 at 250. And Mike Bowman goes 589 and doesn't qualify because the bump wow. is 582. And Mike Bowman has no parachute. And Mike Bowman's heading in the sand. And Mike Bowman is into the net at a very high rate of speed. Jason Scruggs is out there, but those turbo cars make their power on the top end. And look, the parachute not deployed. He's on the brakes. The chute not deployed and just. Gets away right in front of Jason Scruggs. Hard impact, right side wall. Sliding on his lid. Finish line stripe, 6.529, Bo Butner goes to the number five spot. And Aaron gets a little bit better. No parachutes out on Aaron Strong's car. Look at him smoking the front tire, though, and that brand-new, beautiful Camaro is going on the beach. Task is not going to make it. Tommy is. 3.921, no parachute on the Make-A-Wish Dodge. He is covering ground in a hurry down there. Still no parachute on the Make-A-Wish Dodge. Look at Tommy trying, trying, trying to get that thing woed down, and he puts it in the kitty litter. King, right side of your screen there. A great looking Daytona. It was fast. Maybe a little too much. No shoots. No shoots. That's the bad call because there's still no shoots. Next up will be the beach. That big old wing didn't slow him down enough, did it, Paul? No, but it must have put the back end down nicely. Bobby Martin, good finish for Bobby Martin. 564, 253 in the Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania native. He's got troubles at the top end. The shoot's not coming out. Going to the next round, that much we know. How much damage is he going to have to fix? That's the next question. Ends as Annie Whiteley at this point pulls the shoes. You can see him. They got tangled up and did not blossom. She starts to work the brake pedal. That's when he starts to see the car bounce around a little bit. Because these cars have no suspension, those rear tires begin to unload and load as you pull the brake pedal, and it takes a very steady hand to do what she's doing here which is doing a nice job of scrubbing off speed unfortunately now still covering a lot of distance she goes into what is probably the longest sand trap on the nhra mellow yellow drag racing series tour and that is a very good thing in this case because she went in there at a high rate of speed you can look at the distance she's covering still as every time that car is moving five feet the pea gravel is shaving speed off Phillips on the right-hand side of your screen, Burnett in the left-hand lane. They get away on fairly equal terms, but Phillips there showing plenty of horsepower. Burnett, though, is not letting him get too far away, but it will be Phillips there that emerges victorious. Now, Burnett there, he's parachuted and open, Kevin. He's a long way down. Burnett's in big trouble. He's still going very, very fast. Big cloud of smoke there. Burnett's crashed the car. He's gone right through the bottom of the braking area. No parachutes whatsoever.